only three or four, maybe five film festivals that um, that are really designed uh, for for buyers to buy films, and and those buyers don't really um, ha have a lot of time, and also there's like a weird climate where it's like they don't want to take risks. It's it's like it's really an, a pretty awfully designed system because because of even the fact to have to take a risk. You know why? You know the the internet doesn't exist on a risk um, type environment where it's like, oh, this website can't go up because we don't know if uh, a lot of people are going to go to it yet. You just put the website up or you just upload the video. It's been a great place to meet other filmmakers, but one thing that it has not been um, is a place to like get actually um, you know get your film purchased. And this is a a thing that it's like I feel like it's um, oftentimes mis. Uh, represented the idea that if you a you know at least get your film playing in Park City whether it be Slam Dance or Sundance that you'll you'll probably you know you you have a shot at least at getting somebody um, to buy the film um, and then b the idea that if okay if that doesn't happen then you can um, go to like spend about a year going to a bunch of other film festivals and the the better you do the more awards you pick up like the better the chances that that you uh, will then get your film distributed. Um, but, uh, but this is just kind of like a weird idea. I don't know, like, it wasn't really our experience. And, um, in, in a way, looking back, it, it seems like we're at a, a great potential where if someone's going to go play at a bunch of film festivals, it'd be really smart if they could be self-distributing their film, uh, during that time. It is a good question because it's like, why uh, should one go through extra trouble to display a movie on a big screen with a room full of people when it might be a little bit easier to just upload a video to YouTube? Um, that's true. But uh, I, I think what's important for films is to um, be exhibited on uh, the best screen uh, possible and um, let the audiences decide what experience they want to have. Somehow in, in the... Uh, film industry there's still a hugely like selective thing thinking oh well there's only so much room or there's only you know so many films that an audience can decide from we, we can't we can't release too many films or if we do release films we're gonna be losing money left and right as we try and market it but um but all of that is coming from the wrong headspace that's coming from the push um, headspace but if you think about it from a poll perspective make everything available and let audiences pull to them what they want, then you really don't have to be that selective and things can uh, actually uh, rise to the top due to their quality. And You know, if the idea with film festivals is to celebrate film and to, you know, connect f films with audiences, then uh, this can happen uh, all, all over the place. So, you know, this is something that, that I've, been, um, I've been noticing for a while and thinking like, well, you know, do we do we even need film festivals? Not that they aren't a great resource that people should take advantage of, but just you know, bringing up the question: What is the real value of a film festival? And then it kind of um, dawned on me that if a film festival looked like what we're talking about with From Here to Awesome, and it ended up hooking the filmmakers up with ways to sell their DVDs, ways to sell their downloads, ways to um, build a fan base for their film, and and even get their film in uh, in theaters, um, and 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 in a way potentially um, start to build a, a platform in which even after the festival there's there's an infrastructure there um, then this this is an environment that, to me that makes a lot more sense for, for a filmmaker what we did is we made a um, video podcast and that um, kinda just like shared with people who Susan and I are as people and like what our intentions were around the the film and in doing that like it became pretty much a, a no-brainer for the people that were a fan uh, that became fans of that video podcast series they definitely wanted to see our film um, so I, I think that the the way that you you deal with the dilemma of basically wanting to invite somebody in to have like a long form experience um, the way you deal with that dilemma can can be very creative and very like um, outside of the norm it doesn't have to be like 
a deep voice that says two people meet in New York City, you know, or some like ridiculous kind of Hollywood style trailer. If if your movie's not a Hollywood movie, it's not going to work to market it in Hollywood ways. Um, and and what are you doing? What is marketing anyways? Like marketing is is basically just um, being able to shrink down and condense down like what the real value of something is into something uh, you know edible for someone so they can come in they can chew on a little bit think about hmm do I want to like be more of a part of this and uh, so so that's kind of the whole idea with these um, with these audience submissions um, I mean with the uh, filmmaker submission videos that the audiences can look at and decide uh, do I think this film is going to be awesome yay or nay amazing thing for independent films because it really won't matter if you're just uh, you know one uh, small film playing once or twice on some digital screens or maybe blowing up as we've seen videos blow up on YouTube but blow up kind of in a theatrical space where a small film could really you know very quickly become explosively available on screens everywhere. In general any comparisons between music and film uh, yield some pretty good realizations because music is is always like more ahead of the curve um, in front of film um, so yeah definitely at times it could look a little bit like a, a film on tour is kinda like a band on tour but but also you know keep in mind when a when a band plays a show they actually see money from that when a filmmaker plays a film festival very rarely do they see money from that so that's the other idea is, is that we think that films should get you know somewhere around half of what what's collected uh, from screens because this is their movie that they spent money making you know it's cool that a, a you know an entity is going to be presenting the film but that that entity shouldn't be taking any any cut uh, or it shouldn't be taking all of the cut you know and um, in the case of from here to awesome all of the um, revenue goes directly to the uh, the filmmaker we're not you know we're not making contracts that any of the film participating films have to sign we're not taking revenue share for for um, helping curate this stuff we're just uh, we're just helping curate it because we think that better better discovery tools need to exist so we figured we would get all the companies that we've built relationships with you know uh, through Ford monsters and Lance through um, head trauma and uh, Mike through we are the strange just like group all of these um, companies that, that want to be a part of this together and, and try and bridge this gap of, um, of discovery. How can, how, can all, you know, how can YouTube and MySpace and Spout and all these different things kind of work in conjunction to um, help detect what the demand is for a film so that a movie theater can take a look at that and, and figure out, like, do, do we have space for this? Or a digital platform could look, take a look at that and figure out, do we have space for this? And uh, I don't, you know, it's up. It's up to these different platforms and theaters and everybody to see if, if they do. But we're we're going to do our best to to hold up ten film, ten feature films, and say, well, here, these are the top ten based on uh, the, the um, you know, an algorithm that we, that kind of factors in a lot of things. And you know, if nothing else, these ten should be pushed through the following um, platforms and and distributed, uh, pretty pretty widely. You know, all with deals that the Filmmakers making directly, um, and so that it's putting money in their in their pocket. And um, in a lot of cases, uh, uh, I I don't know. I mean, what I'm interested in seeing as part of this experiment too is is how then the films can continue to um, have a life and see new opportunities emerge because of their success with um, with the way we want to structure the festival. Mm -hmm.